हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट भिस्को सिटी जिस दिन कंटिन्यूस कंटिन्यूएशन विथ लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस सरफेस टेंशन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस भिस्को सिटी व्हाट इज द विस्को सिटी नाउ यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इज वन ऑफ द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लिक्विड्स विस्कोसिटी इज ए मीजर ऑफ रेसिस्टेंस टू फ्लो विच एराइज ड्यू टू इंटरनल फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन लेयर्स ऑफ फ्लूड एज दे स्लिप पास्ट वन एन अदर वाइल लिक्विड फ्लोज ए स्ट्रॉन्ग इंटरमोलकुलर फोर्सेज बिटवीन मोलकुल्स होल्ड देम टूगेदर एंड रेसिस्ट मूवमेंट ऑफ लेयर्स पास्ट वन एन अदर वेन ए लिक्विड फ्लोज ओवर ए फिक्स सर्फेस द लेयर ऑफ मोलोकुल्स इन द इमीडिएट कॉन्टैक्ट ऑफ सर्फेस इज स्टेशनरी द वेलोसिटी ऑफ अपर लेयर्स increases as the distance of layers from the fixed layer increases here you have to understand the viscosity of upper layers increases as the distance of layers from the fixed layer increases means with thickness with height it increases upper layer well the velocity of upper layers increases as the distance of layers from the fixed layer increases this type of flow in which there is a regular gradu- gradation regular gradation of velocity in passing from one layer to the next is called laminar flow question is asked what is the laminar flow then this type of flow in which there is a regular gradation of velocity in passing from one layer to the next is called laminar flow if we choose any layer in the flowing liquids the layer above it accelerates its flow and the layer below this retards its flow i will try to send the diagram also you can understand any liquid any liquid when it is flowing you can divide the you can understand that these liquids are made up of so many layers first layer second layer third layer fourth layer fifth layer like that way mm-hmm. you can divide liquids which is flowing through a pipe in so many layers and these layers are flowing then upper most layer will have more velocity than lower one okay again second one has less velocity than lower one again third layer will have less velocity than last one like that way that is called gradation i will try to send that diagram but you can understand better in your mind you can imagine okay now next if the velocity of layer just to consider if the velocity of the layer at a distance at a distance dz just to simply you consider distance as a dz a small d and z dz is changed by a value du means that after a some distance some distance as for example dz velocity uh, value of the the ch- that velocity i am talking about change in velocity suppose uh, when uh, with thickness i am talking about if the velocity of the layer at a distant dz is changed by a value du a small d a small u 
डी यू दिस इज द वैल्यू विच इज चेंज एट अ डिस्टेंस डी जेड ओके द वैलोसिटी ऑफ द लेयर एट ए डिस्टेंस डी जेड इज चेंज बाई ए वैल्यू डी यू देन वेलोसिटी ग्रेडियंट इज गिवेन बाय द अमाउंट डी यू अपॉन डी जेड ग्रेडियंट मिनट ग्रेडियंट मीन्स है ग्रेडियंट मीन्स है पर सेंटीमीटर और पर यूनिट हाउ मच वेलोसिटी चेंज पर सेंटीमीटर और पर मीटर और पर यूनिट हाउ मच चेंज टुक प्लेस दैट इज कॉल्ड ग्रेडियंट देन ग्रेडियंट वेलोसिटी ग्रेडियंट इज गिवेन बाय द अमाउंट डी यू अपॉन डी जेड यू हैव डिवाइडेड बाय डी जेड मीन्स पर यूनिट ए फोर्स इज रिक्वाइड दिस इज द चेंज इन velocity per unit distance per unit distance what we are telling velocity gradient then to maintain you want to maintain this gradient velocity gradient you if you want to maintain per meter per centimeter or per per unit distance you want to maintain some velocity then for that purpose a force is required then a force is required to maintain the flow of layers this force is proportional to the area of contact of layers and velocity gradient this force is directly proportional or you can tell this force is dependent on two things first all layers are attached to each other they are in contact then how much area is in contact in that area area you can tell as a, a capital a and other things it depends upon the you can say gradient in velocity gradient second is the velocity gradient then force is directly proportional to a a is the area of contact area of contact and uh, this uh, f is f is also directly proportional to velocity gradient that is the du upon dz then now f is directly proportional to a and f is also directly proportional to du upon dz where du upon dz is velocity gradient then the change in velocity this uh, du upon dz already told you that it is the velocity gradient the change in velocity with distance then now finally f f is directly proportional directly proportional with a into du upon dz in both huh? force is directly proportional to a means area into du upon dz then now if you will this proportionality signs proportionality sign if you want to equate equal sign what to convert in equal signs then you have to multiply with a constant that constant suppose here it is a eta huh? eta then here eta is just like a n but n you are writing and then one other line will be little more down it should go eta okay then this eta is a proportionality constant and is called coefficient of viscosity coefficient of viscosity viscosity coefficient is the force what is this it is the force when velocity gradient is unity and the area of contact is unity area then it means what f is equal to eta into 1 into 1 then f is equal to eta it means eta is also a force then viscosity coefficient is the force when velocity gradient is unity and the area of contact is unit area thus thus eta is a measure of viscosity si unit of viscosity coefficient is 1 newton is 1 newton second okay then 
SI unit of viscosity coefficient is 1 newton second per square meter means newton is equal to newton is equal to uh, this thing uh, unit I am talking about newton second per meter square newton second meter minus 2 means meter newton second per meter square meter square uh, this is also you can tell pascal second newton second per meter square is the unit for coefficient of viscosity this is also called pascal second then pascal second is equal to 1 kg per meter per second is called pascal unit pascal second is the also unit for coefficient of viscosity and pascal second is equal to 1 kg per meter per second in cgs system the unit of coefficient of viscosity is poise p o i s e in the name of a scientist his full name is uh, Jean, Jean Lois Poiscule, P O I S E U I double L E, Poiscule, Jean Lois Poiscule, in shortcut Poise, P O I S E, Poiscule. Then this I have told about the unit, unit of coefficient of viscosity, and uh, one Poise is equal to one poise a smaller unit that is equal to one gram per centimeter per second one poise is equal to one gram per centimeter per second okay also this is equal to 10 to the power minus 1 kg per meter per second great again you understand main things now in shortcut that uh, greater the viscosity the more slowly the liquid flow this is important things very very important if viscosity is more means greater the viscosity the more slowly the liquid flow means if viscosity will is more it means flow will be less liquid will flow slowly reverse case this you keep in mind generally all student gets confused more the more the uh, this viscosity less the flow less the flow greater the viscosity the more slowly the liquid flows hydrogen bonding and van der Waals forces are strong enough to cause high viscosity high viscosity means now movement will be slow flow will be slow glass is an extremely viscous liquid again question is asked glass you think that it is a solid generally 99 percent people will think glass is solid but now we listen exact things glass is an extremely viscous liquid it is a liquid not the solid it looks solid glass is an extremely viscous liquid it is so viscous that that many of the properties resemble solids it just uh, it looks like a solid properties matches with solid but it is liquid it is so viscous that many of its properties resemble solids however property of flow of glass can be uh, experienced experienced by measuring the thickness of window panes of old buildings this becomes thicker at the bottom than at the top actually how can you this a very good example window pan if it is in old building if you will see the uh, thickness you will measure then in the top thickness will be less and in the end in the end near the base you will find thickness is more it is just like uh, that actually in the new everywhere thickness thickness was same but now in old after 20 years 
थर्टी ईयर्स फिफ्टी ईयर्स नाउ स्लोली एंड स्लोली दैट इट विल कम डाउन ड्यू टू द फ्लो एंड बॉटम यू विल फाइंड थिकनेस इज मोर एंड देयर थिकनेस अप थिकनेस विल बी लेस दिस इज अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल बिस्कोसिटी ऑफ लिक्विड्स डिक्रीजेज अगेन एन अदर थिंग्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस बिच इज आस इन इन ऑल एग्जामिनेशन इन ऑल एग्जामिनेशन ओके बिस्कोसिटी ऑफ लिक्विड्स डिक्रीजेज एज द टेम्परेचर इनक्रीजेज बिस्कोसिटी ऑफ लिक्विड्स डिक्रीजेस एज द टेम्परेचर राइजेज बिकॉज एट हाई टेम्परेचर मोलोकुल्स हैव हाई काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड ओवरकम द इंटर मोलोकुलर फोर्सेज टू स्लिप पास्ट ओवर एन अदर बिटवीन द लेयर्स मीन्स इंटर मोलोकुलर फोर्सेज विच वी आर बाइंडिंग रेसिस्टेंस वॉज मोर दैट इट विल डिक्रीज इंटर मोलोकुलर फोर्स विल डिक्रीज मीन्स रेसिस्टेंस विल डिक्रीज एंड मूवमेंट विल बी फास्ट मीन्स बिस्कोसिटी विल डिक्रीज नाउ आई एम स्टॉपिंग ओनली हेयर टूडे आई हैव फिनिश्ड दिस स्टेट ऑफ मैटर्स कंप्लीटली आई हैव फिनिश टोटल फाइव चैप्टर्स आई हैव फिनिश्ड एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर आई फिनिश्ड पीरियोडिक टेबल आई फिनिश्ड आफ्टर दैट केमिकल बॉन्डिंग आई हैव फिनिश्ड एंड एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड वन फर्स्ट चैप्टर कंसेप्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री कंसेप्ट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर पीरियोडिक टेबल केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड स्टेट ऑफ मैटर्स फाइव चैप्टर्स नाउ है फिनिश्ड नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल स्टार्ट विद न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज द thermodynamics thank you